let's answer some questions here on electronics information. Ohm's law states A, B, C, or D. So Ohm's law states that the voltage, which is measured in volts, is just equivalent or equal to the current, which is measured in amperes, times the resistance, which is measured in ohms. So the answer here is letter A. A resistor's first three color bands are brown, black, and red. What is its value? So you need a resistor's color bands from left to right. And the first band denotes the first digit. The second band denotes the second digit. And the third band denotes the subsequent number of zeros. So in this example, brown is 1, black is 0, and red here means there are two additional zeros. Therefore, the answer here is letter A, 1,000 ohms. In the U.S., all metal equipment, electrical or not, connected to a swimming pool must be. The answer here is letter B. So all electrical equipment, uh, metal equipment, electrical or not, they are that are connected to a swimming pool must be bonded together by a minimum of number 8 wire for safety purposes. That includes the heaters, pumps, stairs, diving boards, railings, rebars, and, s and other t things. Voltage can also be expressed as well, voltage is measured in volts, and it is also commonly used as a short name for electrical potential difference. So the answer here is letter D. Newer cell phones contain a removable memory card, which is often called a... Okay, the answer here is letter A, SIM card. So SIM here stands for subscriber identity module so this is a subscriber identity module card and this card contains information such as your phone number your billing information and your address book and it and this card makes it easier to switch from one cell phone to another made from a variety of materials such as carbon this inhibits the flow of current so the answer here is letter A, resistor, because a resistor is in na so named because it resists or inhibits the flow of current. This is a type of semiconductor that only allows current to flow in one direction. It is usually used to rectify AC signals, conversion to DC. So the answer here is letter C, the diode, because the diode restricts current flow to only one direction. The diode has two terminals. One is the anode, and the other one is a cathode. That's why it is called a diode. Radar can operate at frequencies as high as 100,000 megahertz. So the answer here is letter C. What do AC and DC stand for in the electrical field? Letter A, amplified capacity and differential capacity. B, alternating current and direct current. C, accelerated climate and induced climate. D, none of the above. So the answer here is letter B. AC is for alternating current and DC is for direct current. And current is the flow of charged particles. So the difference between this AC and DC is that the electrons in AC circuit regularly reverse their direction, while in a DC circuit, the electrons always flow in the same direction. 
changing AC to DC is called what? So changing AC to DC is a process called rectification. So the answer here is letter C. A 5000 BTU air conditioner can efficiently co up to 150 square feet or a 10 foot by 15 foot room. What does BTU stand for? So BTU stands for British Thermal Unit and it is a measure of heat energy. So the answer here is letter C. Which is the most correct definition of current? A, the measure of electrical pressure. B, the amount of electricity used in a heater. C, the electricity used in heating a kilo of water. D, the presence of electron flow. Actually, the current is the presence of electron flow. So the answer here is letter D. A device that transforms energy from one form to another is called A, a capacitor, B, a transducer, C, a transformer, D, magic. So the answer here is letter B, a transducer, because transducers, they transform energy and can be s those ca are can be uh, switches, strain gauges, temperature sensors, or inductive switches. Which one of the following is an active element? So what is an active element? When we say active elements, they are electronic devices that can create energy, such as voltage supplies and current supplies. On the other hand, we have passive elements, which are electronic devices that cannot um, create energy. So we have here in our choices, we have resistor, inductor, capacitor, power supply. So it says um, active elements can create energy. Therefore, the answer here is letter D, 10 volts power supply. A light bulb is 60 watts, operated at 120 volts. How much current does it draw? Now, power is just equal to the product of the current and voltage. And to solve for current, we just have to divide power and voltage. So current is just equal to power over voltage. Now we're given here the power which is 60 watts and the voltage which is equal to 120 volts. We just have to plug in everything, all the values. Power is 60 watts over 120 volts. Therefore, the value of our current here is just equal to 1 half or 0.5 amperes. So the answer here is letter A. A number 12 wire compared to a number 6 wire, A is longer, B is shorter, C is smaller in diameter, D is larger in diameter. So in wires, the larger the number, the smaller the diameter of the wire. Therefore, the answer here is letter C. Smaller in diameter. Uh, number 12 wire has a smaller diameter compared to wire number 6. A fuse with a higher than required rating used in an electrical circuit a improves safety, B increases maintenance, C may not work properly, D is less expensive. Okay, since fuses are designed to prevent current overload at a specific level, and a fuse with a high rating, higher than required rating, may allow a higher current to flow through a circuit not designed to work at higher current. So 
there must be uh, there can be a possible damage oh, to the circuit so the answer here is letter C may not work properly neutral wire is always okay neutral wire is always whitish or natural colored so the answer here is letter A to measure electrical power you would use a blank ammeter ohmmeter voltmeter watt meter so electrical power and electrical power is measured in watts so ammeter here this measures current ohmmeter measures resistance in ohms voltmeter me here measures the voltage in volts this one current in amperes watt meter measures the power in watts so the answer here is letter d watt meter what will happen if you operate an incandescent light bulb at less than its rated voltage letter a the bulb will burn brighter and last longer b the bulb will burn dimmer and last longer c the bulb will burn brighter but won't last as long letter d the bulb will burn dimmer but won't last as long since it is operated um, it operates in at less than its rated voltage then therefore the bulb will burn dimmer because its full potential isn't used and it will last longer for the same reason so the answer here is letter b